हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्निकल नॉलेज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टॉप टेन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू गियर बॉक्स सो आई होप यू विल स्टे विथ मी टिल द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So here is the first question what is a gearbox and why it is used a gearbox is a mechanical device which is used to reduce the rpm and increase the torque output or increase the rpm and reduce the torque output a motor so a gearbox is used in between a motor and the machine where you can increase or decrease the speed or increase or decrease the torque as per your requirement so here goes the next question what is a gearbox breather a breather is an important device which is used in gearbox to provide a proper ventilation system where hot gases can escape and fresh air can enter in a running condition the lubricants found inside the gearbox heats up which results in formation of vapors and hot gases so if you don't remove these hot gases from the breather it will damage the oil seal found in input and output shaft of the gearbox thus a breather is provided for a proper ventilation system so the next question which grade of oil is used in industrial gearbox basically there are three grades of oil which is used in industries they are 220 320 and 460 here low grade oil is best used for high speed and low loaded gear like gear oil grade 220 whereas high grade oil is used for low speed and high loaded gear like gear oil grade 460 next question what is the function of the oil seal by the name itself oil seal we can make it out here it is provided between the shaft and the casing which maintains the gap thus prevents the oil leakage from inside the gearbox to the outer surrounding next question what is a multi stage gearbox a multi stage gearbox is a type of gearbox where there is a number of intermediate gears as a result we get a high gear ratio in this type of gearbox the speed reduction occurs not only in one stage but more than two or three stage thus we get very low speed in the output shaft but with a high torque thus this type of gearbox is used where you need a high torque in the output shaft of the gearbox next question which type of gears are used in multi stage gearboxes in industries where huge gearboxes are used the gears which are provided inside those gearboxes are helical gears next question Where are the applications of warm wheel gearboxes? Basically, a warm wheel gearbox are seen on a conveyor belt. Here, this type of gearbox are used because it has a self interlocking mechanism which will prevent the belt to move backward when you stop the belt. Then it is also used in a bucket elevator in a bucket elevator during a maintenance time 
you need to run the bucket in a very slow motion thus this type of gearbox is used there for maintenance and inspection purposes then you can also see a warm wheel gearbox in a rotary wrap where you need a constant flow of material in a material handling equipment the next question which material is used for warm shaft and warm gear here a hard material is used for warm shaft whereas a soft material is used for warm gear basically a phosphor bronze is widely used for warm drives in order to reduce wear of worms which will be excessive with cast iron or steel next question is what is the main reason of gearbox failure in most cases gearbox fails due to lack of lubrication where metal to metal contact increases when lubrication inside the gearbox is reduced thus there will be lots of wear and tear of metal parts of the gear which will result in gearbox failure second is when breather gets choked here due to dusty environment the breather which is found on the gearbox casing gets choked which results in build up of temperature and pressure inside the gearbox which will damage the seal which is found between casing and the shaft where there will be leakage of gear oil which might slowly result in gearbox failure now the last question is a bit interesting and practical related problem which you will see in the industries that is how to find gearbox ratio if name plate is missing are you excited to learn or know how can we do that so here it is here you need to see how many revolutions can be obtained for the input shaft for a complete one revolution for the output shaft for example if you are able to rotate 15 revolution for the input shaft for one complete revolution for the output shaft then the gear ratio for that particular gear will be 15 is to 1 so my dear friends hope you like the video and it was useful to you and if it was please like and subscribe to my channel for technical related videos if you are a technical person thank you